So today we will uh, discuss a uh, case study of our first three face transplant patients, um, the first three full face transplants in the United States as well. And we'll uh, specifically focus on indications for this procedure, contraindications, uh, special needs for equipment, highlights of the procedure, as well as uh, immediate and long-term complications and outcomes. I've been doing uh, head and neck reconstruction for many, many years. And there are certain problems that just cannot be fixed using conventional methods. And, um, and these are usually the more devastating problems, such as um, major burns, <clears throat> where it's not just a superficial burn just dealing with the skin, which can be treated in, using conventional methods, but where it's, it's a much deeper burn. It involves also the muscles, um, especially the muscles around the mouth and around the eyes. When these are burnt off, patients are um, function very, very poorly. Um, they can't close their mouth, they can't eat properly, they can't speak properly, their teeth rot. And conventional methods really aren't good enough to reconstruct this. Similarly, when burns are involving the, the, the full thickness of the eyelids, that too is something that we just don't know how to reconstruct. And what happens uh, with major burns is that it affects a significant part uh, of the face and so if you have a way of reconstruct, not reconstructing but restoring, and I'd like to make a differentiation between reconstruction and restoration. What we've done for many years with reconstructive surgery is we've taken bits and pieces of other parts of the body to, um, to repair the injured part. Face transplantation enables us to restore things, uh, basically using similar tissues uh, versus tissues from elsewhere which uh, inherently would not would be suboptimal. So there's certainly a group of patients that are carefully evaluated and, uh, and, and they've actually been the mo most of our patients have had major burns you know, whether, and most of them have been electrical burns which typically sort of um, cause quite deep burns involving the deeper structures of the muscles and also the bones for instance.